now is the time to die. And I'm not talking about the pandemic. I'm talking about D-Y-E, dying wood. But more than that, we're talking about the Shoshugi bond method of burning wood to preserve it. It's a Japanese method that really draws out the grain in a wood and makes it look amazing. And so we can take something that's very affordable, like these quarter inch by three and a half inch V planks, um, and we can put them up as a ceiling. And even though they look really good like that, especially if you were to stain them, um, when we take a yard torch and we burn the wood, then it really draws out the grain of the wood and, and just gives it a lot more character. And it's something that once you get the hang of, it's pretty easy to be consistent. You just have to pre-warm your wood a little bit first and then make a steady, slow movement across the wood to get the level of burn that you want. And I have to point out that you probably need to burn the wood a little more than you think you need to. And if you happen to burn it a little too much, you can use a wire brush uh, and kind of remove some of the char to uh, bring back the white wood in between the texture. Now, burning the wood before you put it up is probably best, but we burned it on the ceiling, and if you do such a thing, make sure that uh, you don't have any fire started or any smoke that continues after you're done. Just the burned finish by itself can actually look pretty amazing. Um, I really like it. And now, to really bring the magic out of the wood, to make your wood look like any type of wood you wish, even very expensive wood, we use Kita dye with water. This way we have a non-toxic, non-off-gassing stain that we can soak into the wood. Uh, you can mix it a little stronger for darker colors or a little lighter, and sometimes you do multiple coats to get it to the darkness you want. Here you can see a side-by-side -side comparison between the burned wood and the stained wood. And here's a picture of the ceiling done. It looks absolutely gorgeous. You can then use a clear sealer and even a water-based sealer to then give it a little bit more shine. And there's many colors available, so you can pretty much pick whatever really makes you happy, uh, whatever really fits the theme. And this helps us to take our aircrete structures and our aircrete houses to a whole new level of uh, beauty without spending a whole lot more money. And I'd like to give a shout out to Claire who reintroduced me to the Shishugi Bond. Um, it had been years since I even thought about preserving wood by burning, but it had never actually crossed my mind that you could add dye to it to create such beautiful finishes. At our aircrete workshops, we're teaching a whole lot more than just how to make aircrete. I think that's a common mistake that a lot of people see uh, or think that it's just an aircrete workshop. But at our workshops, we're teaching you how to build a, a, a home, a fully functional home, from the foundation to the electrical wiring to designing solar systems for off-grid, plumbing for doing safety engineering on the aircrete itself, as well as heat load calculations, installing air conditioning and heating, um, putting on roofs, basically everything that you need to build a house. But then beyond that, we also cover legal matters, such as how to legally reduce your taxes, uh, how to learn to handle your own affairs and preserve your wealth for the future so that you don't become part of the great reset where they own everything and they're very happy about it. So if this interests you, I invite you to click the link below in the description and come check out our website and learn more about our video courses and hands-on training. Can I tell you what's been on my mind? Sick and tired of the nine to five in the city light. We could get out of town. See the beautiful world around. Want to see it now. and get in that